Hey, good morning, ladies. Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Amy Barney here. Um, I thought I'd share a little bit about a book I've been reading again, which is Girl Code by Kara Alvo. I can't, I don't know how to say her name, but it's a good book. I really like it. I've read it before. Also, I thought I'd get ready for the day. I never do this this early in the morning. Seriously, I must be taking crazy pills. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome. Say hey, hashtag hey AB below if you're joining me live. I love to know. Good morning. Love to know who's on my live. I'm putting my primer on. You always got to prime before you put your makeup on. I'll be sharing some quotes, my favorite quotes from the book Girl Code, as well as getting ready for the day. I seriously never put my face on before taking my kids to school, but I thought, why not try something new since I've been doing my lives in the morning? So we are going to get ready. And I'm going to do a beautiful neutral look. I'm going to use this shadow today. All right. So, I don't know if you read Girl Code. What I like about it is that, you know, it talks about how a lot of women, they get caught up in comparison, competition, being catty, and that, you know, the Girl Code is learning to um, lift each other up, empower each other, and not fall into the trap of, you know, feeling like there's not enough for everybody. You know, it's good to support each other. And um, she says, there's a quote, we each have a unique path to walk in this life and there's a reason that yours is unfolding the way that it is. Embrace your journey and look for the lessons. Believe in divine timing and know that what's for you will not pass you. I love that last phrase. Uh, another mentor of mine, she says it all the time. And you know, I think about it when I'm thinking about things I really wanna accomplish in my life that I haven't yet and I feel like I've been working on them for a long time, that what's for you will not pass you. So this is from Girl Code. All right, so I got some primer on. Next time I do my brows, um, I, I like to use the brow palette. It's what I typically use. This is, I've had this for like a year, it lasts forever. And I'm just gonna go with the lighter color. And I'll try to do quick. Sometimes I get hung up on trying to get my brows to match better and it doesn't always work. So. And I'll share another quote that I liked. So do you guys like to read books um, hard, you know, like actually have a copy of a book and read? Or you like to use like an audible thing? I find that I don't have much time to sit around and actually read, read a book. I'm in my mirror. But um, I've been doing a lot of audible and it makes it so that I can get through so much more. My light. There we go. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Oops. I got my phone set up differently because it doesn't allow me to save my videos unless I have it filming this way. All right, so next quote. It's all about persevering and letting your passion drive you. When you have passion, you cannot fail. I love that. And the world simply cannot reject any anyone or anything that comes from a place of passion. So don't be afraid to let your passion shine. Stay focused on what you love, keep going, and trust that those who are meant to get your message will. So that's from Girl Code. It's a book I was reading again. It's a great book for women who are entrepreneurs. Um, highly recommend it, and just anybody. I think, you know, as women, instead of talking about somebody, we sh you know, saying negative things about them, comparing, competing, we need to lift each other up. And so that is my mission as well. So it's a great book to read. All right, I'm really not going to spend that much time on my brows. I can barely talk this morning. <laughs> oh, you do both. That's great. You know, I just, um, part of it, I probably need to go to the eye doctor. My eyes have been bothering me. I have an appointment this week. Um, so that's part of it, and it's just hard to find the time to sit still. <laughs> All right, you know a woman is strong, beautiful, and secure by the way she empowers and inspires others. All right, so let's get to this eye look here. Um, these are some of the new nudes. I don't usually wear a lot of nudes, but I've been playing around with them, and we're going to play with them right now. So I'm going to start with this one. I do not remember the name. I'm going to put that one in my crease. So does anybody have anything exciting planned this week? I have something exciting coming up on the 1st. I've been planning it since December. I'm super, super excited about it, and I will be sharing more on the 1st. It's been a a work of love in progress for a, a while <laughs> and so I will be sharing that on the first so all right so we are creating a neutral look and I'm sharing quotes from a book I've been reading Girl Code 
All right, let's get that. This is, uh, I forget what this is called, but this is a, a metallic neutral, and I'm just using it in my crease. All right, wisdom is meant to be shared, so let's start sharing what we've learned to make each other better. Let's start building each other up. Let's live up to our potential and start ruling the world. That's from Girl Code as well. All right, now I think, hmm, I think I'll go with this one. I'm just going to add a little bit more in the outer V and, you know, work it up into the crease. Oops, uh, that went out a little stronger than I wanted. <laughs> well, you just got to blend it out when that happens. You know, don't freak out. And also you can go over it with a lighter color to soften it up, which I may do. The less is more, right? This color is super potent. Well, they all are, so you don't. They are nudes, but that is definitely a darker one than I wanted. Right, you should also know that whatever your gift is, nobody can do it quite like you. One of the biggest traps we fall into as women is the comparison trap. I don't know, have you guys ever struggled with comparison? I know I have. Um, and so she talks a lot about that in the book, you know, comparing, and that we need to embrace our own genius and be who we are meant to be because there's not anybody else in the world like you. And so by comparing and, you know, maybe imitating people instead of being who you're truly meant to be, you know, you're, you're, le you're losing some of your genius. Um, so she says, uh, she, you know, the she's got it all trap, the she has more fans trap, or she's making more money trap. We tend to stack ourselves up against everyone else and pick ourselves apart based on what other people are doing. This practice does nothing to make us better. So anyways, those are some of my favorite quotes from, quotes from Girl Code. I don't know if you've ever read it. Uh, highly recommend it. Great book. I have to soften up this over here. We're going to use a little bit of that and let's lighten it up a little bit. See how that lightened it up so it's not too bad? And um, let's see. And so, you know, I get the opportunity to go to some generic network marketing events. And I, you know, I get to meet some wonderful women who are sometimes in competing, competing, <laughs> you know, businesses. And I've made some of the best friends and we just lift each other up. We don't worry about whether or not, you know, so-and-so is going to be taking clients from me or whatever, because we each draw and attract our own tribe. And, you know, there's just something powerful about helping other women, supporting other women. I'm just lighting that up again because I put too much on over here. There's something powerful about that when you get out there and you support each other and you, you don't worry about the competition. You just empower other women. All right, I'm going to use this one on the lid. It's very light. I actually put a lot of my brush because I am very pale. And so I need a little bit more for it to show up. Otherwise, it kind of just blends into my skin. But it is supposed to be neutral, right? We're doing a nude look. All right, so I'm just grabbing that. I like to use this flat brush for my lid. It's a nice way to... It just places the eyeshadow on really nicely. I kind of pat it on. Because if I use... Um, a brush, a fluffier brush, it's going to make it less visible on my lid and I want my, I always like my lid color to be, you know, kind of pop. All right, we're keeping it pretty simple. Seriously, who gets up to do their makeup at 5.45 a.m.? I usually don't. <laughs> this is new for me, but I figured why not, right? Let's get at least one morning where I actually look put together. All right, I am gonna put on the dip and draw eyeliner. So what are you guys' favorite books? What do you like to read? What has inspired you? Um, I love reading great books. <clears throat> I'd be happy to hear your recommendations and maybe I'll share something on it. All right, I might need to move my mirror a little closer. Let's dip and draw. Liquid liner, live, it's a little tricky. Welcome, welcome. So what time zone are you guys in? I'm on Pacific time, so it's really early over here. But I know I have a lot of friends that are on the East Coast, so it's probably not quite so early for you. Oh, shoot. All right. Having a Q-tip handy would be nice. I always mess up that side just a little bit. But I just have to roll with it. 
So we are creating a neutral look and I have exciting things coming up on Friday. I'm just trying to even up the line a little bit. Usually I get a little bit closer to, oh yes, that is such a good book, Girl, Wash Your Face. I read that, <clears throat> I read it again. Was it ooh, October, November? Oh, it's such an inspiring book. You know, if you're having a hard time and maybe feeling, I don't know, overwhelmed in whatever area in your life, I read that during a tough time and it just helps so much. Such a great book. I love that book. That is definitely one that I would recommend for everybody. Rachel Hollis is very inspiring. All right, getting the Epic on. Epic Mascara. You can actually get this free, the Epic Mascara, um, this month which is almost over. If you like details on that, just um, put Epic below and I will shoot you over some details. Because who can't, who doesn't need a little bit more Epic in their life? Okay, that's just one coat. It's seriously the best mascara ever. <laughs> Absolutely love it. <clears throat> All right, let's get the, well, you know what? I'm just gonna come down here. We're actually gonna do a full face today. I don't usually do a full face live. But, oh shoot, a little clean up there. It's okay if you make a little mess, you just go back and clean it up. Welcome, welcome, good morning. So bright and early. I did share some quotes on Girl Co. You can go back and, you know, watch it when this is over. Um, great book, highly recommend it. So if you want to catch those quotes, they are at the beginning. And when this live's over, you can just go back and, and listen to them and see if it's a book that you want to um, read. Definitely recommend it. And I like that she um, interviews a lot of uh, successful women and asks them, you know, what's helped make them successful and all the different things. And so it's pretty cool. So you're getting like these nuggets of wisdom from all these different women who are super, super successful Oops. and that have gone through a lot of struggles. Oh, cool. I have not heard of that one. I will have to look it up. Thanks for sharing. Rise and Grind by Damien John. That sounds good. All right, we got one coat on. Let it dry. All right. So, yeah, I've got to see what book I'm going to read next. Maybe I'll read Rise and Grind. I'm trying to read books I have in my um, Audible library because I have quite a few that I have not read yet. Just get overwhelmed with time, you know, with stuff going on, and I, I kind of let that go for a while. I was reading quite a few, but um, I keep on painting my face with mascara. <laughs> the good thing is it's easy to clean up. <laughs> oh, well. All right, so we got our neutral eyes on. I'm working on my lashes. I got one coat of Epic on. I always recommend two. But if you don't like to have your lashes to really pop, then just go with one. I mean, it's still pop, but, um, you know, two really seems to, you know, be the magic number for me. I really like my lashes to look crazy amazing. What I love about this mascara is it's so easy to use. Um, there's no extra steps. It's, you know, you don't need instructions. You just put it on. Now, I did get some mascara all over my lid, but I will take care of that. Typically, my eyeshadow is just a little bit darker, and so that's not as noticeable. All right, now, if you'd want information on how you can get this Epic for free, just comment Epic below. It's just for a few more days. And then that special is gone. All right, we got our lashes done. I do need to clean up my lid. And what I will probably do is just put a little bit more lid color on. So I'm just going to go back to the neutral palette that I use. I'm going to just put this over it a little bit. And that will help. Any big plans this week, you guys? What's going on? 
I got some big stuff coming up on Friday, which I will be announcing on Friday. Um, I'm trying to think what else is going on. I've got some appointments going. I'm going into the doctor today. Um, and let's get some concealer on. I highly recommend, I didn't used to wear concealer. But, oh, I didn't wet my sponge. Oh, I think I might have to go without. Hmm. I usually blend it with a sponge, so maybe we'll skip that today. But I usually like to wear concealer under my foundation, just right in here, because I get some redness. And it always gives me more of a flawless look. So I never use filters on my pictures, but when I use a concealer under my foundation, it really makes a difference. Now my skin, I don't know if you guys have know, I've been talking about how it's drier in the winter, and so I've switched to BB Flawless for now. It's a tinted moisturizer, and it has been helping me a lot with that so that I don't get those patchy looks, you know, um, which was happening. Typically, I would use the liquid foundation, but so I'm just going to, you know, spread that around. But right now, this has been really nice. This is great for mature skin, dry skin. If you just like a tinted moisturizer, not good for oily skin, I would say that because it is a tinted moisturizer and you don't need more moisture on your face if you have oily skin. So I'm just gonna blend that in and it gives me a nice overall um, polish look. It's a light coverage and I'm okay with that. Usually I put on my concealer and that takes care of, you know, the problem areas. <laughs> but <clears throat> I may go back over it a little bit later with some concealer if you need that. It's okay, it's early in the morning. I just love the way this feels. If you have dry skin, this just feels amazing. It's just oh, it's so refreshing. I'm just blending it in. And it gives me a dewy look. Now, if your skin isn't super dry like mine, you can use a finishing powder over it. But I've been avoiding more of the powders just because, just for now. I'm going to go back to them as soon as I can. But um, because it, I just get really dry skin. Welcome, welcome. All right, so that is our BB Flawless. And just blend it down. I do like the dewy look. It's kind of fresh looking. <laughs> and uh, let's see. I think I will add just a little bit. I have a few little breakout areas. And I will add just a tiny bit of concealer over it and go with a more natural look today instead of, you know, and I'm just gonna blend that in right there. Mm -hmm. All right, any questions, feel free to pop below. If you'd like information on how you can get a free Epic Pot, comment Epic below. And I did share girl code quotes in the beginning. If you wanna catch that, you can always Rewatch in the beginning um, after I'm done. I do like to do light contouring, and what I usually use is just the loose powder foundation. Um, I prefer that for contouring. It's very light. I find because I'm so white, <coughs> if I use... <laughs> Thank you. I still sound terrible. I'm not used to getting up this early in the morning. <clears throat> That's amazing you get up that early to work out. Uh, I'm stuck here with the kids, so it'd be ideal to to work out. Um, but I'm not up for much yet either since my surgery. But I did get two walks in last week. I was so proud of myself. Uh, I'll be four weeks out from my surgery on Wednesday. And I did walk a mile twice last week. It felt so good. It did wear me out some, though. I still, like, still getting a little worn out. <laughs> Um, I'm just using a very, it's just one shade darker, loose powder foundation. I seriously go really light on the contour, just kind of gives some shadows on my face to help a little bit with angles, but I really, um, I, I have a hard time since I'm so white. If I do two shades dark, I have a hard time getting the more blended look that I like. And so it looks a little more pronounced, the lines, you know, and I don't like to have a really pronounced line. I really want it to look a little more natural, but usually recommendations are you want to go two shades darker for contour so it's completely up to you you probably can't even see this uh, what I'm doing it's super super light <clears throat> thank you Emily I am I am still struggling with some soreness <clears throat> sorry I got that morning voice um, it's just the little things like I can't clean around the house still <laughs> and when I try and do a little bit then I get really sore and yesterday I was so tired um, just because I had to handle my son all day 
by myself on Saturday and oh my gosh, I wrote down some of the things he said to me. It was crazy on Saturday. He's like, I'm gonna kick you out a window. I'm gonna hang you on a shower curtain. And then I went out because he wouldn't come inside and I was helping to bring him in. And he's like, I'm gonna soak you with the hose. And he turned it on and blasted me. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. So anyways, I had to deal with him physically a little bit. I didn't pick him up because I'm not supposed to pick anything up over 10 pounds, but oh, it wore me out. Yesterday I was wiped out. So I was still trying to gain strength back. <clears throat> My crazy son. I don't even know where he's picking these phrases up. Where is he getting that? I'm going to kick you out a window. I, I don't even know. Because nobody around here talks like that. <laughs> I was so mad that he sprayed me with the hose. I sprayed him right back. I'm like, you know what? You're going to soak me. I'm going to soak you back. He didn't listen. And so he soaked me. And I soaked him. And he screamed. And the neighbors probably thought I was beating him. But hey, you know, that is not okay. <laughs> All right, let's get some blush on. Actually, ooh, I'm going to do something fun. <clears throat> I got this at the the Black Friday deals. Absolutely love it. It's a holographic highlighter. It's so cool. And I have a holographic lip gloss too that I really like. And so I just put it right here. Kind of gives it that cool thing. And I, um, you know, I don't know if you can see, but when you're in the light, it gives you that nice little glow there, that highlight. And I just blend it a little bit with my finger. And you can put a little bit, you know, down the center of your nose. I don't like to go too crazy on that. And right here, that's just kind of where I like to highlight. You can highlight under here, up here, you can go wherever. But again, I usually go minimal. All right, now let's get a little blush on. We are about done. And then I need to take some pictures and get my kids up for school. Whew. Yeah, I'm just like hoping my son doesn't turn into some crazy, you know, I don't know. When he says things like that, I think 10 years from now, is he going to be like one of those crazy people that goes around killing people? I sure hope not. Anyways, he's been, um, lately when he gets upset, he's been, sorry, I'm using a metallic blush. Um, I like to use very light again. You know, that's just me. I like things to blend and be light. I like, you know, a little bit of color, but not too much on the rest of my face. All right. And now I'm going to just top it off with what I love, which is easy on the go, a lip bonbon. And there you go. I'm done. <laughs> so there is your neutral look for the morning. If you missed, and I did this eyeshadow palette. Um, if you want details on how you can get this with the free Epic, just let me know. Um, I always love an easy on the go lip. I like to be able to just slap it on. I don't like to take the time to make it look precise. Every now and then I'll put on a really nice lip that's bold, but this is what I usually do. All right, I hope you guys are having a great day. This is the finished look. And it's so nice to see you guys all so early in the morning. I am home at home, and this is a new routine. Good for you. So glad. Oh, thank you. I didn't see that previous comment. So that's cool. Welcome, welcome. And if you missed the Girl Code quotes from the beginning, you can watch it after I post the video. Um, really good book. Highly recommend it. It's so empowering. It helps us all. Good morning. It helps us to know that, you know, as women, we need to support each other no matter what we're doing, even if we're in competing fields, that there's more power in uniting and empowering each other. And so that is something I've been learning on this uh, journey that I'm on. And oh, I've made so many amazing friends. Um, and I love being around people that do that, that just empower you, that want to make you feel good, that want to help you do and be your best. No matter if you are selling similar products or whatever it is, you can still empower them and support them. And it is not gonna take away from you at all. All right, I hope you guys are having a great morning. Um, exciting stuff coming on Friday. I'll be um, sharing later on. So I will post a look later. Uh, and I'm probably gonna try this every Monday. I've been playing around with times. So I'm gonna see if I can do a makeup look in, on Monday morning. So have a great morning. I will see you tomorrow morning bright and early. Bye.